about two weeks ago I was given this Bible by the gentleman that owned it. And it wasn't in this good a condition when I got it. As you can see just here, there was about there would have been about a dozen or so pages that were actually pulled away from the from the spine. So what I did was I pulled I took the cover all off because it, it wasn't even glued down properly. I mean, because it was so old, the gluing had failed and the cover pretty much just come apart. I reinforced the spine. I put those papers back in best I could. You can even see, like it's just that little part there. Just and it's actually just in Matthew. There it is. But. But it's all fine in the in the gutter. Let's get it to focus for you. There you go. It's all fine in the gutter. You do have that wrinkle there, but no, I can't get I can't really get that out because I think it's been like that for ages. But if you just if you want to read it, I mean, you just get that page and just pull it across. It's only one page in the whole Bible that's a bit like that. I don't know too much about this Bible. I do know that it was given to him by his mother. Right here to Russell with love from mum, mother, 1941. So that makes this Bible 77 years old. Um, I'm presuming this is information for it. London, the British and Foreign Bible Society. I'm presuming this is what they do. It's a ruby print. As you can see right there. There's nothing else on this Bible to say where it might be. Even the spine just says Holy Bible. And then you've got this trademark down the bottom here, which I'm not exactly sure what that stands for because I haven't seen that before. Yeah, I did, when I finished, when I fixed it and I gave it, I was I meant to give it back to him and he goes, oh no, he goes, you keep it, give it to somebody else that what, might want it or, or you keep it. I thought, wasn't nice, that was a generous thing considering, you know, he, his mother gave it to him. I thought maybe he'd like to give it to his children or grandchildren or something, but no, he didn't want to. Uh, I think he was just grateful that somebody actually took the time to fix it and was ready, was willing to, you know. Uh, it's got a few stains on it. I mean, you know, he had he did he did use this quite a bit when he was younger. And as 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 your eyes fail when you get older, you know, he didn't read it as much. I mean, he's it's awfully stained in Psalms, but that just means that just tells me that he read it a lot. Uh, as you can see, it is a bit yellow because it's my Thompson underneath. You can see the colour of the paper. It is different. I'll give it a Psalms because that's not that's about the worst part. But you know, still quite a nice little Bible. And if you compare the, the the writing, the size of this with a modern day pit minion, I found that it was the same size. Found that to be the same size. This one is a little bit easier to read, but because of the, because it is a bit, it is darker, it is darker text, but it's quite nice. It's a nice little Bible. To, I mean, even size-wise, I mean, just the size of this pet minion here. And you've got the size of this one on top. And it is a lot smaller than the Pit Minion. Okay, it is thicker than the Pit Minion. But not by much. Really. If you look at it that way, not by much. It's a nice little bottle. So, the Bible will be staying with me until I bless somebody else with this Bible.
I don't think it's a leather. It's a leather or bonded leather. I'm not sure. Could be a leather. Could be like a Morocco. So that's sort of leather. I'm not sure. But when the, when the cover came off and underneath it, it was just like newspaper print. But it's still, this is still in good condition, it's not flaking off, it's just, you know, just the corners here, at the front of the Bible, actually, they're a bit, they're, they're a bit, you know, worn, but other than that, still got the red on it, I don't think, I don't think it was art gilded, I just think it had red around the edges of it, still quite, quite a nice little Bible, I added the ribbons, I put new ribbons in it. Because the ribbon that was in it was just like a piece of string. It's a bit dirty there where he's thumbed through it a lot. But hey, sign of a well used Bible. We all know what that means. Hmm. So she is a nice little Bible. It's just clean, clean text. You can actually see. Actually, got the stitching in here. Get the focus for you. And that's in the front part. You also have it in the back part. I'll find it here somewhere. There it is there in the back of the Bible as well. So they did they made these Bibles well back then. Like I said, 77 years old and she's still going, even after that repair I've just done. Didn't have any head or tail bands on it, and I didn't put any on it because I don't have spare, that sort of stuff spare here. Like I said, I reinforced the, the spine with some material, cleaned it all up and then reinforced it and then put the cut, put the same cover back on. It's still quite a nice, usable, good quality Bible. And thanks for watching. See, there's no need to throw out old Bibles sometimes. You can actually repair them to still be used or passed on or keep them. Or uh, Thanks for watching.